today's video is going to be a girl talk debating whether to do a girl talk or assumptions girl talk one so hence why i'm doing it but i will want to do an assumptions video at some point but probably in a few weeks um but yeah i just thought let's have a little girl chat i just love having girl chats and just talking about girly things and things that boys aren't going to be interested in and before i start answering any questions that i put out on my instagram earlier today first of all i want to say all the boys pre-warned you're probably not going to want to watch this video because like the title says it is a girl talk so you have been warned also how are you guys and how are you coping with everything is everyone okay how are you doing are you finding it okay and like are you happy that we're kind of sort of getting back to a kind of normal or are you getting nervous about it let me know because i feel like everyone's experiencing this kind of different have you been to any pubs yet or restaurants let me know also i am getting my hair done in two weeks which i am so excited about so the first question is how do you work on body confidence and body positivity well i feel like this question is really hard because i don't think anyone is a hundred percent happy in their body i mean there might be people out there that are a hundred percent happy if you would have asked me this like three four years ago i would have like i hated the way i looked when i looked in the mirror i would always try and cover up it's hard obviously i've told you guys that i had a boob reduction um a fair few years ago and so i feel like i'm not the best person to talk to this about but i will say i hated the way i looked when i had big boobs i hated the way it made me feel it was making me depressed i hated the way it made my whole body look big and i just really wasn't confident and that is why i had the surgery if you are feeling like that in a part of your body really it really is getting you down and you know you can do something to change it then why not and um, it is your body at the end of the day if you have any thoughts of like um worries or anything like that don't get it done simple as that because you might regret it if you 100 percent know that you want this done you want to change this part of your body just do it it's your body no one can ever tell you what to do now i work out and go to the gym because it is good for my mental health rather rather than my physical health obviously it's a benefit but it really exercising really really helps my mental health and it just clears my mind but obviously there's some days you look in the mirror and you think oh i wish my stomach was a bit flatter or i wish my thighs were a bit smaller but then other days i wake up and i think yes i'm glad i've got an hourglass figure and i can wear this nice bodycon dress and look really good in it there's days where i have either and i feel like that's the same for everyone i saw this quote on twitter actually i just read something that said think of the person you love the most in the world why do you love them i bet it has nothing to do with their body and i just feel like it's something everyone needs to hear and it's like the most true thing like when you think about your friends and why you love them so much it's not because of their body is it and that's it's so hard but that's just what you've got to think nobody loves you because you've got a good body a bad body you're really skinny you're bigger you've got curves you're like flat no one loves you because of that it's hard to tell you how to be confident because it's different for everyone and i'm still definitely not 100 percent body confident but i am like i would say 95 percent of the time 
which is a lot better than I was a few years ago. Finding outfits that you know will flatter you, hanging out with people that make you feel confident, that hype you up, that don't bring you down, that don't bring you negativity, that aren't bitchy. Surround yourself with positive people and it will wear off on you. Do something for your mental health, whether that's exercise or reading or yoga and Pilates. Like, I wouldn't really class them as like proper workouts, but they are still really good for your mental health. I love yoga. Meditation. What do you think is the difference between a friend and a best friend? I feel like that's quite hard because I feel like I haven't had like a best friend since like school, um, like secondary school. Now I just have like a small group of friends. Like back in school, I was friends with so many people, so many different types of people. I was a little social butterfly. Now I'm still social, but I definitely have a really small close knit group of friends. And so I feel like I count them all as my best friends because I would tell all of them my secrets. I trust all of them. I think that's the difference between a friend and a best friend. Um, trusting them with something like your deepest, darkest secret and them not to go tell someone else. And for them not to go behind your back and tell other people. Or if you get into an argument, for them to go behind your back and bitch about you. I feel like stuff like that is really petty and it's really school-like. I definitely wouldn't have a friend that would do stuff like that anymore because I definitely did years ago, but now I just don't associate with people like that, please. It's just so much easier to have just a close knit group of friends that you trust and you would literally tell them anything and you know that they have your back, you know that they're gonna hype you up. What would you do if you caught your best friend's boyfriend cheating? Ooh, wow. Well, like I say, if they are your best friend, you don't keep any secrets from them. And so therefore, I would expose his cheating ass and tell her why would why would you not tell your best friend if you know that if you've caught him cheating unless it was with you then that's awkward and you're clearly not best friends but i'm assuming it's not and yeah just tell her why would you not she, she needs to get him out of his life out of her life stuff like this grates me so much because why would you even cheat like if you're with someone and you're unhappy and you want to get with other people just break up what is the point in cheating honestly because it just leads to heartbreak and it's just not nice oh cheaters okay someone asked how do you deal with a breakup breakups are hard um especially if it's like your first proper boyfriend it can be so difficult because you're just so wrapped up in that person and even if they've done something really bad and everyone around you is telling you um you just can't see it because you're blinded by love oh breakups are just awful and i know that they make you feel sick and you don't want to eat you don't want to see anyone you just want to cry and you don't think you're going to get over it but trust me you do and every single day it will just hurt a little bit less and you'll be able to do a little bit more every day you'll be you'll start eating and you'll start wanting to see your friends you'll start wanting to go back out and socialize um yeah until you just don't feel any feelings towards them anymore i definitely think that not seeing them helps in a breakup and um, so you all them feelings don't come flooding back deleting them from your social media potentially blocking them if you think you're going to stalk them <laughs> and yeah i definitely think cut them out until you're over them and you know you're fully over them and then you can let them back in it's just going to come to a point where you just start talking to another guy or girl and you start developing feelings for them 
and then you just stop thinking about your ex and it just becomes a memory i literally know um that it's so frustrating when people tell you stuff like this when you're in the position because i've been there and i know it's so hard um to ever think that you're going to get over them but you do this is a time when you need your friends around you if only coronavirus wasn't here you could give them a hug because you just need hugs give your family a hug just give your mum a hug are you on the pill and would you recommend it okay right yes i am on the pill i've actually been on two different types of pills <sighs> let's just be real i don't want to be on the pill because i don't want all these extra hormones in my body i was talking to billy about this and i just i think it's scary that i don't know what i'm like without these hormones in my body um i don't know what my body's like um my personality um my hormones like my mood swings stuff like that never ever 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 go on the pill unless you want to don't if a boy is trying to pressure you because you're being intimate and he's like you need to go on the pill because i'm not wearing a condom no 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 only go on the pill if you want to whether it's because you want to go in it because you have bad acne and you want to see if it clears you up whether it's for contraception it there could be a multitude of reasons the main reason i'm on mine is one contraception and two because of my endometriosis and it's um, recommended that you're on the pill never let a guy tell you you should be on the pill or anyone your parents friends don't just go on the pill because all your friends are on the pill and you think it's cool no 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 if you don't want to put start putting hormones in your body babe then don't because i don't want to and i want to come off them but i'm trying to think of something else that i can do think of all of your options if you're on it solely for contraception condoms they're an option there's so many different options that you can do there's the implant and honestly so yeah i've been on the pill since i was like 15 and to be honest yeah it does scare me that i don't know what i'm like without it um i do want to come off it but i want to do it sensibly i i'm definitely not going to come off it anytime soon but i would like to in the next couple of years um and just let my body get back to its natural self and also leading on to like the contraception so sex someone asked me a question about um like what's the right age to have sex and i mean obviously the legal age is 16 here but obviously a lot of people don't wait till they're 16 or a lot of people wait until they're a lot older and it's literally personal preference i remember in school we always had so everyone was just having sex basically and i know that all the girls are feeling so much pressure and probably the boys too to just lose their v their v card and you know i always knew that i didn't want to just waste it with someone a one night stand and i wanted it to be with someone that i knew properly and i trusted and i'm really glad it was i was in a relationship with this boy I don't want anyone to have regrets because it's like the worst thing in the world and just don't put yourself in that position if and if someone's pressuring you to have sex with them say you're in a relationship with someone and they're pressuring you to have sex or they're going to get bored and they're going to leave you then honey honey let them leave you no you deserve better than that and why are you going to let someone control your life do you think really when you've left school because school is such a minute part of your life i wish you guys knew how small school really is i knew i know that when i was in school it felt like the biggest thing but it's really not you're there for what like secondary school you're there for like five years that's nothing at all you're not going to be caring about that boy when you were like 14 years old when you're like in your 30s are you no you're not going to be sitting there in your 30s like all crying because 
you didn't want to lose your virginity so he left you no you're gonna think i'm glad that i did that because otherwise i would have regretted it or something could have happened you don't know if if it's just some random guy like how do you know what he's got he might not be clean like he might not he might have infections and thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this little girl talk video and like i said sorry it was long and well done to you if you stayed i hope you had some snacks and yeah let me know what other types of videos you would like to see and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye guys